All right, so today we're going to entertain you viewers with a little saga on this 1998 Honda CRV. It's a four wheel drive car. You may have seen this car in a prior video. I bought it from one of my customers. I am the long standing maintenance man on it. Been servicing it for about 10 or 15 years. My customer got into an accident with the car uh, right here. Uh, this door area and the lower part of the fender bent the tie rod and uh, she didn't know what to do with the car. She bought a new car. The door had bent so the top part came away from the, the body and it rained and it completely filled the interior full of mold. It was awful. You may have seen the videos of me power washing the interior because I could not figure out how to get it out. I used baking soda, I used power washing, I used the hose on a nice summer day, trying to get all the mold and dirt out of this car. It was totaled. Uh, so getting back to my customer, the pick, local pick and pull offered her $68 to tow it away. It runs and dries fine. And I thought, you know what, I feel bad. I offered her a couple hundred bucks. So I got the car for 200 bucks and I sat around for a while and I was gonna basically use it for uh, the engine and transmission because it is a five speed, which is sort of rare has a 2.0 gas engine and a five speed for one of my other project cars. However, my wife saw it. And as you husbands out there know, if your wife really likes something, you kind of try to get as many brownie points as you can. So we cleaned it up. Uh, another impetus was that a green CRV just like this one happened upon the wrecking yard down the street. So as you can see here, this is the damage door. Doesn't look too bad, but that's completely pushed in. It's completely bowed and bent. Um, I fixed it. This is the new door. Looks straight. I uh, popped all the dents out of this fender a little bit. You can see that I got to do some touch up there. And there was a huge dent right there, which is a little wrinkly still. But you know what? It's a good ski car. And that's what my wife wants to do. She wants to go skiing and that's a big thing for her. So. We fixed it up, we got rid of the mold. We fixed the door. I tried to pull the frame. Let's see if I can focus in on that. I couldn't though, it's really, really damaged. You can see I spaced it with a bunch of washers. And I know it's kind of hokey, but that's all I could do. I hooked up a come along between the lower uh, pillar there and this post and chained the other side of the car and I just could not get it out. It would not come, so I spaced it. And it's fine, the door now fits really well up here. No more water leaks, no more mold. Runs and drives good. I got tags for it. In fact, I spent more on getting the license plates and the tags than I did on the car. It cost me 350 bucks for new plates and tags and licensing. So we're gonna be into this thing probably a thousand bucks by the time we get a set of new tires. One of the tires got a blister on it and they're a little old, but it runs and drives good. It's got 200,000 miles on it. See if I can turn the lights on. It's a nice little car. What I like about it, it's a five speed, which is like I said, really, really rare. So uh, that is the Saga on the CRV. It's a fun little car. We're gonna use it to go skiing, take the family and uh, enjoy life. Oh, did I mention it's got a picnic table? I know that, they have a factory picnic table in the back. Right there. That you pull out. And you can see the legs on it is your picnic table. You can have a little party or a picnic at the beach when you take it out. Okay, that's the latest status on the CRV. We saved another one. I wasn't planning on it, but uh, that's the way it goes. All right, thanks for watching my videos. Oh, look at that. Dog wants to go. She knows a good car when she sees one. You want to go to the beach, buddy? Yeah. All right, let's go.